Hi guys, welcome back. So in this one, we're going to learn how to achieve protected routes, uh, which means we restrict access to certain pages, only users with a certain permission or role can access those pages. But in this one, however, uh, I'm going to restrict access uh, for everyone so that nobody can access those pages. So before we dive into coding it, there are several ways of doing it. Maybe I will start with a bad way of doing it and then go on to the best way of doing it. So let's say we have a, you know, uh, inside our routes, we have a route called, uh, let's call this dashboard, right? So dashboard is uh, usually when user logs in, they will usually go to this page where they can see certain kind of data related to uh, something related to them. Now, I'll have a container and I'll have a H1 here and it says dashboard. Okay. So probably it has some more content here, which is user specific. Uh, but here we can actually go to that page and see the title here. And maybe there is some content, right? Which you are not concerned right now. Now, how do we restrict from someone accessing this? So this is the bad way of doing it, which is, you know, you can do it here in script, script tags. So let uh, access or let user equals, we assign it to a empty, you know, object. And then on mount, uh, we'll do something like, maybe uh, this should be asynchronous so that we can fetch few things uh, from the server. So let's see, const response, await fetch uh, some route let's say you know you have an api route or some you know user or something so you make a post request with all these you know uh, login credentials or a cookie or something you access the cookie and send it along and you get the user right so what happens here is user equals something from response.json and then uh, some some kind of thing uh, but here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign it manually. ID equals uh, some weird value. So this is not even required at this moment. But uh, it takes some time. So let's say uh, we'll have a set time out. This is just for uh, uh, you know simulating the delay. It's not you know you shouldn't be writing it. So let's say it takes a second to get the user right uh, now um at the end however uh in a reactive state statement or or here after this what we'll do is if uh, not user if user is not present then we use go to i think it imported go to already yeah we'll do slash login so what we are saying to the user is you know if you uh, if user is not present, then go to this uh, login page. And uh, login page is not present, so let me create that as well. So I'll quickly do that. Uh, directory with login and then page. That's right. Now I'm not going to do anything, uh, you know, uh, like a functionality here, like a login function or something. So it will just be a page which says, you know, uh, login. That's all. So if I go to dashboard and refresh and nothing happens here. So this is because um, I think it's some issue with the unmount. Uh, I think it, it checks right away. I should be checking for user.id because uh, user is true uh, because it's uh, an empty object. User.id will be false at the moment, right? So it, it already redirected the user. I mean, like before even we got it, but let's say we don't have this set timeout. And uh, now if we go to dashboard and dashboard is accessible, uh, but if this was not present, the user ID will not be there. They will always go there to the login page. But you might see that, you know, we see a flash of dashboard here, right? before. We go to the login page now this is not completely a protected route so you shouldn't be doing it in the script tags if you want to protect it you might 
want to use something like a page.js, which is a load function. Uh, you might want to consider page.server.js, which also, uh, which is actually a better option. I'll come to that in a second. Async, and here, um, what we do is, uh, we can actually throw a 302 redirect. Uh, it imports redirect, and then we'll do a status code of 302, which is a temporary redirect. And we do it to login page. Now here, all um, any request. Now here we don't have any conditions, so any request that comes in, we'll go to to that page. We we'll go to login. So if you go to dashboard, it automatically redirects to login, and you don't see a flash of dashboard here, which is good. Now uh, even better option would be converting this to page dot dot js, which is which I think is is the best option you can have. So this is this is probably the best uh, thing you can do, where it works the same way. So if you go to dashboard now, uh, you you don't even realize you know you have been redirected, right? So here you can have a login form and somebody logs in and then you can authenticate that user, and once they are you know uh, authenticated and they have these credentials, you can allow them. Now in this case, we are not allowing anyone. Now, let's say we have another page called uh, maybe profile, right? So uh, let me just maybe create that mm, paste. And here I'll have profile, right? Um, profile also has a uh, uh, title here. Okay. Now, if I do not throw this error, I will probably be able to access profile and if I uncomment it I will not be I'll go back to the login page now you might have several pages of this sort like the you know dashboard profile and so on and so forth they all need to be protected now this uh, server is dot server file it's kind of repetitive in in all these pages right so which may not be the best way of uh, doing it if you want to have a dry approach you shouldn't be using it this way. Maybe you should, you know, move to a function or something, or you can also do it in our handle function in the hooks uh, file. So the way that works is here. But before that, let's move all this to a directory, right? So before I open hooks, so I'll create a directory. I'll call this maybe app. And then uh, I'll select profile and dashboard. Uh, these two pages and move it to app. So once we have moved it, the obviously the you know uh, let me remove these uh, on both these redirects. Um, now I obviously the route changes it will be app dashboard and also app profile, which may not be what you're looking for. Let's say you don't want to change any, you know, routing. Like you don't, you want slash dashboard, not slash app slash dashboard. So in that case, also you can do something like this. You can just uh, rename this and add brackets. So this will be only for your convenience now. This app will only for the convenience. Everything else will uh, work as usual before. So you can go to slash profile slash dashboard. Uh, things work fine. And now you can, you know, uh, use this throw redirect so that you, you will be redirected. For now, what I'll do is uh, I will keep it commented out so that anyone can access these pages. But what I will do is in the hooks function, I will make sure anything inside this app, uh, this, you know, directory cannot be accessed or is protected. So let's see how to do that. Let's go to hooks. Um, it's inside source hooks.server. I will close the other ones. So before I make the if condition, uh, I'll just see how we can you know check whether the request is coming for things inside this app directory. I'll do event dot um, not request. I think route. Okay. So when we do event dot route, 
we see here that it's it's it has this you know uh text which we can check against so cloud dot id and uh, which will be that text um dot uh starts with maybe or you can also use includes it already added a, a optional chaining i'm not quite sure why but maybe it's some feature right so now i should get a true for this route yes i got true and uh, if i do home page i should get it as false i think i got it as false yes uh now i'll change that to if this is the route then uh so uh, I, I think the same thing redirect we'll do 302 and to login page okay. um yeah so let's go to dashboard now we are already in login let's go to profile we're again in login so what happens in this case is we can actually get rid of the server files and our app can have lesser files and lesser code and all, everything happens in the you know hooks that server function now here you know nobody will be able to access these two pages but that's not what we want we want someone to access it we will look into that in the next video thanks guys bye bye